Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making some cheddar cheese straws or twists. I'm going to make them in a sunburst pattern uh, and they're going to be uh, topped and have in the middle some everything but the bagel uh, topping which you can make yourself, you can buy it but you can make yourself and they will also have some cheddar cheese in and some uh, quite a lot of cheese powder. So it's actually quite a simple recipe and although I'm going to do a, do a starburst one you could actually just roll this pastry out, uh, fill it, fold it over and cut it into uh, strips and twist them or you can cut it into squares and make crackers. It's quite simple and I'll go on to go on to the recipe. So for the pastry which is going to be a flaky pastry. I have 300 grams, which is two cups of plain flour. That's based on uh, scooping out packed flour, 150 grams per cup. I have uh, two tablespoons, 14 grams of a cheddar cheese powder. You can buy this online if you can't get it in the supermarket and it's quite useful to have. I have 170 grams, which is 12 tablespoons of unsalted butter which is cold that's just come out of the fridge. I have uh, 120 milliliters uh, which is seven tables sorry I have 105 milliliters which is seven tablespoons of ice cold water. I may not need all of that. I have half a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. So those are the ingredients for the pastry. And for the topping, I have one tablespoon, 14 grams of butter, which I'm going to melt. I don't need it yet. I have uh, half a cup, 57 grams of cheddar cheese, which I've grated. I have a tablespoon of water and I have uh, 28 grams, a quarter of a cup of uh, cheddar cheese powder. And then in this bowl I have the everything but the bagel topping and that is made up basically of poppy seeds, sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, onion flakes, uh, minced or garlic or garlic granules which is what I've got and salt and the combination of those is actually um, one and a half to, to make a, a big batch which goes into a jar like this and you can use it. Um, to make one batch, I used a, one and a half teaspoons of poppy seeds, two tablespoons of sesame, one tablespoon of black sesame, one and a half tablespoons of garlic, one and a half tablespoons of flaked onion, and two teaspoons of uh, salt. And then I just took two tablespoons of that out, which works out at um, about 14 grams and that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to set those things to one side for a moment and get on and make the pastry. And to make the pastry I'm going to do it by hand and I'm going to put the salt, in fact I'll put it into my large bowl it'll be easier, the flour, the salt, the baking powder and the cheese powder into the bowl. and I'm going to mix those together. Now the cheese powder, my cheese powder, has clumped a little bit but it will break up as I rub the butter in. So what I want to do is to rub the butter into this powder until I have um, about pea-sized uh, chunks basically. I don't want all the butter to um, Dissolve. Now you can do this between your fingers or you can use a pastry cutter or a knife any way you want but you just rub it in. So with that mixed in you can still see lumps of butter but they've broken down into nice pieces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the water in and I'm not going to put it all in 
I'm going to do maybe two tablespoons at a time and stir it around with a knife until it starts to clump together and then I will use my hand to pull it together as you can see that's that is clumping but it still needs more water I just do a little drop more and then I'm going to use my hand to pull that into a dough and see how it feels. That's looking quite good so I'm going to tip that out and if the dough isn't quite wet enough you can dip your fingers in the water just to get a little bit more moisture into the dough. I think mine might be okay. I'll just squeeze it and see how it looks. Yes, that's actually quite nice. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to give that a little more sque of a squeeze. Um, and then I'm going to divide that into two. and I want fairly equal parts and I'm going to form each one into a disc And I'm going to wrap those in plastic wrap and chill them for 30 minutes. And while they're chilling, I'm going to preheat my oven to 190 Celsius. That's 170 Celsius with a fan, 375 Fahrenheit. And I'm going to line a baking tray with some parchment paper. And then after 30 minutes, I'll come back and we'll roll this out and uh, put the... the uh, filling in and topping on and then we'll shape it. So it, it's been about 30 minutes, my pastry has been chilling, my oven is preheating and what I'm going to do is to make um, the paste or the filling that's going to go on top of uh, the first layer of pastry that I roll out and for that I'm going to put my uh, melted butter and my water into a bowl with the cheese powder and one tablespoon of the everything mix.
and then I'm going to mix that around into a paste. Just like that and then I'm going to set that to the side for the time being while we roll out the pastry and for that I'm going to flour my work surface and my rolling pin and I'm going to take one piece of the pastry And I'm going to roll that out. I want a circle of 10 inches in diameter um, so I may roll it out into about slightly more and then cut the edges off. And that's actually almost right. So I'm going to just trim off the edges. You can make this whatever size you want, really. And I'm going to roll that up onto my rolling pin and place it on a piece of parchment paper which I have here. And the reason for that is that it's going to be easier to transfer it onto my baking tray on the parchment paper. So I'm going to set that to one side and roll my second piece of dough out, hopefully to about the same size. And then I'm going to roll that up onto my rolling pin and set it to one side.
and take the first piece again and I want to then spread my cheese and everything mixture over the pastry but leave a gap of a half an inch all the way around the edge and I've done that and it's fairly rough but it's good enough so then what I'm going to do is to take my cheddar cheese which I grated and that's going to be laid over as well again leaving the gap around the edge just like that and then I'm going to take my second piece of pastry and lay that on the top if I can do it without breaking it if it breaks I will just patch it just like that and I'm going to press it down all the way around the edge to seal it like that And I'm just going to actually make a little hole in there so that I could press the air out. So with that, like that, what I'm going to do is take a two and a half inch cutter and I'm going to place that in the centre as near as I can. like that and I'm going to cut thirty two cuts down to make the starburst effect And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift each strip carefully and twist it three times, all in the same direction. One, two, three, like that. And then do the one next to it. And then, with the final one done, like that, I'm going to take my uh, water and beaten egg and I'm going to brush over the top. like that and I'm going to sprinkle the remainder 
of the topping over And I'm going to put that onto my baking tray. Like that. And I'm going to put that into the oven and bake it for 35 to 40 minutes till it's turned a nice golden color and the pastry is completely cooked. Then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to leave it to cool down completely before we try to eat it. So I'll come back once it's cooled down completely. I baked the everything cheddar uh, sunburst twists uh, for uh, 40 minutes. It coloured quite nicely. I took it out and allowed it to cool down. I've actually been eating it already uh, and I'll show it to you but I just want to say you don't have to do the sunburst twist. You can roll the pastry out, divide it equally in two, cover one uh, part, put the other part on top and you can cut it into strip and make twists if you want to. This is what it looks like and as you say I have made quite a hole in it already but I'll have a taste of uh, this piece. It has that lovely cheesy flavour and the flavour of the onion and the garlic comes through as well and then you get um, when you crunch into the sesame seeds and the poppy seeds you get those as well so this is actually very very nice just for snacking on I should say that this is another recipe which I found on King Arthur flour I've seen other versions of it as well um, but this particular version was on King Arthur flour and it, it's turned out very well so that's going to be it for this recipe I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to the recipe and I'll put a link for it below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future so until then happy baking <laughs>